Somebody got shot! This is becoming a familiar sound in neighborhoods where residents say they are now feeling numb to gun violence. It's turning into being the new norm when you get gunshots and people think it's just firecrackers or just dismissed as such. And even with time, but with little to no change, mothers who lost their children say they're never the same, and it's affecting them in unimaginable ways. We live in constant trauma. You know, this trauma is not going to go anywhere. It's been eight years since Natasha Christopher's son, Akil, was shot. He died on his 15th birthday, and his killer is still on the loose. My whole life... It's just full of pain and heartbreak. What makes this mother feel worse is that she's not alone. Every time when I get up and I turn on the news and I see that someone else, someone else has been affected by gun violence, you know, it's a, it just traumatizes me over and over. So far, more than 1,300 people have been victims of gun violence. That's more than double the number of people victimized last year. Unfortunately, it's not just about the number of victims. It's also what's left behind, the bloodshed and heartache. Psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier. People are tired, people are weary, and I think the way that they're finding uh, to cope with these unprecedented number of shootings that we're having uh, as of this year is by adapting, by becoming desensitized. It's a defense mechanism, but certainly not a healthy one. And it's taking a toll on communities where a baby, teenagers, and innocent men and women are being shot, in some cases without any justice. Why are we accepting gun violence, everyday gun violence, in our community as normal? It should be an outrage, and it's not. And I don't understand why. It may not be something we understand, but Dr. Gardier believes it's something we all should be thinking about. It's important that we all care, that we all come together, and that we're all outraged as to what's going on.